I'm excited to be here. I, uh, I'm, I'm in a weird mood. I was out with my Mormon friends last night. I was the designated drinker. So. I'm getting in shape. I joined a low impact workout program. I box with Amish people. And, uh, the other day I tried rollerblading. Anybody blade in here? Rollerbladers? The toughest thing about rollerblading is telling your parents that you're gay. Um, <laughs> There they are, okay. But I got arrested on rollerblades. If you run a light, I was going down, um, uh, down in, in Hollywood and I ran a red light on my rollerblades and one of those bicycle cops tried to pull me over. And, you know, who listens to those guys? I took off like a shot. He jumps on his bike and he's pedaling after me. He's ringing his little bell trying to get me to pull over, you know. I'm weaving around old people, you know. Finally, a guy on a horse throws out a spike strip, strip and I keep, you know. But I eventually got stopped and I didn't have my wallet, I didn't have a driver's license, which is illegal in California. So I was arrested, I was handcuffed in front of hundreds of people. The most embarrassing thing was riding to jail on the handlebars. <laughs> but he let me put my feet in the basket and we're good friends now. So like, you guys are too good. Huh? But you know, you notice things when you're riding around. I notice like the, the homeless problem. You guys can thinking about the homeless problem. The homeless problem, the big problem in this country. My son and I were talking about it the other day. We decided this Christmas we're going to do something different. We're going to take the money that we normally spend on Christmas gifts for one another, and we're going to take a cruise. Um, <laughs> you just don't see homeless people on cruise ships. You know? I don't know why they can't get the cart up the gangway. Something keeps them from it. The paperwork, I don't know. I donated a car to the homeless. They didn't even pick it up. There are just two guys living in it in my driveway now. So, I was down in Florida visiting my grandfather. My grandfather's like 90 years old and just a great guy, but he's getting old. And one of his friends died, and we went to the funeral. And it was a very neurotic family. So it's a, they have a suicide note that's been handed down from generation to generation. <laughs> We go to this funeral. I've never been to a funeral like this in my life. The family starts arguing whether to have an open casket or a closed casket. Some people wanted to see the body, some didn't. The funeral, they're fighting about it. And what the funeral director finally decided to do was he put a pedal on the side of the casket like you have on a kitchen trash can. <laughs> you want to see Grandpa, he just stepped down and there he was. You know. They had another pedal that would sit him up and wave goodbye. You know. People were putting pats, hats on his head, taking pictures with him. He was broken. The kids were playing with him. He was up. He was down. But I, I was over at my grandfather's house, and he's getting ready for bed. And I said, what are you doing, Gramps? He, he says, he takes, he's making some hot cocoa, and he takes a hot cocoa and a Viagra before he goes to bed at night. And I said, why, Gramps? He said, well, the hot chocolate puts me to sleep, and the Viagra keeps me from rolling out of bed. And my grandmother, well, my grandmother's no longer with us. She got a hold of some of that bad cat food that was going around. And uh, <laughs> my other grandfather, he's wild. He's no longer, he died in his sleep, which is a way to go. Not like the other three people in the car who were screaming their heads off. And, <laughs> You're a sick group tonight. I, I like you guys. I like sick people. I'm in trouble at home. My wife is mad at me. She caught me on Match.com. I said, I'm looking for someone for you. <laughs> Have you ever met online dating and people try it? Anybody meet online dating? I, you know, I, I, I mean, 40% of people have never tried it, the other 40% have tried it, and the other 20% are still missing. Um, <laughs> But I, I was trying it. I was in a ch I was chatting with somebody, and you know, have, you know, you, you finally you get the nerve up to meet in person. Does this happen to you? Does it always turn out to be Chris Hansen at Dateline NBC? <laughs> hey, you guys are so great. What fun! Thank you for having me.
enjoy the rest of the show.